Welcome guys to my top 10 games for the Oculus Quest. There's so many things that have already been announced for this thing and it's not even out yet and there's so much to be excited about. Let's go ahead and dive in. Gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech, going for a brekkie is the gaming tech, gaming techie is the gaming tech, gaming techie. Alright guys, today's a really exciting video for me to make. We're obviously going through our top 10 Oculus Quest games that I'm looking forward to. There's so many good games already announced for the Oculus Quest, and the thing hasn't even released yet. And there's more things being announced every week leading up to the launch, which everyone's expecting the launch of this thing to be more than likely April 30th or May 1st, uh, which is basically when Facebook's developer conference is. And uh, that's the rumored date, and that's probably what it's... At least we're going to get a date on that day, if it's not actually going to be released that day. Um, but it is coming out in spring 2019. That's what they've said multiple times, you know, every single week, basically. Um... These top 10 games are obviously not in any sort of order. There's not number 1 to 10. It's hard to do that. I haven't even played these games yet. This is going... Uh, most of these games I haven't played yet. Um, this is going by like trailers, announcements, review, uh, you know, early previews that people are talking about that have gotten me excited for the Oculus Quest that should make you guys excited for the Oculus Quest. Almost all of these titles, except for maybe 2 or 3, are exclusive or either exclusive to the Oculus Quest or releasing on both the Oculus Quest and the Oculus Rift at the same time brand new titles that are coming on the day that this thing launches. So, so many new stuff and so many things to look forward to. But let's go ahead and dive right in, guys. We're going to start at number one. We're going to dive right into Shadow Point. Shadow Point is a game um, coming from Code Sync that a lot of people are looking forward to. It is basically a, a puzzle type of game, as you're seeing here in the video. And it has some interesting mechanics and stuff that basically you're manipulating a mirror, as you see... Um, as the trailer is showing, it's obviously very puzzle based and you're basically using a mirror to manipulate what you're seeing in the mirror and what's actually in the real world around you. The graphics have like a cartoon, uh, cartoon it's not really cartoonish, but it's got that cell shaded kind of look uh, graphics that I really like and enjoy. And this one seems to have a lot of meat on its, on its bones here and I'm really looking forward to how, you know, this, you can manipulate the world and, you know, I get that, that experience of this game. And, uh, you know, I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's it's a game that everyone's been talking about. That this game was played a lot already at PAX from some of the people in early reviews, or early previews, I should say, have come out to be positive. So uh, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing more about this game and checking it out as soon as it launches. At number two, we have uh, a game that's a sequel to one of my favorite titles on the Oculus Go, um, which is Face Your Fears. Face Your Fears, if you guys don't know, the original one on the Oculus Go basically was made up of little experiences uh, from spiders to um, spiders. It was like a telephone booth, crows, things like that, uh, heights that are basically you trying to face your fear. Uh, you know, you can take the, the height experience. It's basically like a three or four minute experience, uh, 360 video kind of thing. And you would look around and stuff and, you know, scare your friends. It was like the, the perfect thing to put on your friends to see them get scared and, and watch their reactions and stuff. Face Your Fears 2 takes it up a notch. Face Your Fears 2 is not only going to be... A f it's not only going to have that and uh, Scream Scares is what, Jake, is what they're calling it now. Basically, how the game is going to be set up is it's uh, four to six hours from what we've been told so far. And it's going to be a full story in VR uh, uh, of a game. It's going to be... Episode, there's going to be two episodes, episode one and episode two, about a haunted house and figuring out what happened there and stuff like that. And obviously, this is going to take this game to the next level because not only do we have a story here, but obviously, we got hand controllers now that we're going to be able to use here and, and manipulate the world and grab objects and stuff. And what's cool is as you progress through the story, you're going to unlock sections of the story or, or little pieces that you're going by that are now going to be unlocked on your main menu that you can now show to your friends, which obviously is very similar to what Face Your Fears did. So now you get to get a full, you know, four to six hour uh, story that you get to play by yourself. And as you're playing it, you're unlocking things uh, for the game. A uh, little short experience, like I said, that are called screams. And um, we obviously don't know what those screams are or what they're based off of yet, but they're little snippets of the story uh, from what from what we gather. And uh, to, to be able to show your friends, obviously, like, three or four minute experiences. And they're going to be nine different ones uh, once you beat the whole story that you're going to be able to play through and show your friends and stuff. So I'm really, really looking forward to what kind of stuff they're adding in that and uh, how the story mode ends up being. But I'm really super excited for Face Your Fears too. The next game we have on here is a game that everyone's known from the Oculus Rift. Uh, it came out when the touch controllers came out, Robo Recall. 
Now, this game, uh, a lot of questions surrounding this game on how, ga how the graphics are going to look like. Is the gameplay going to be exactly the same on the Oculus uh, Quest? And happy early reports are already saying that the game is basically the exact same gameplay-wise. Uh, you're going to have a lot of fun playing this game from the early reports of the few people out there who have played it. It plays exactly the same and stuff like that with obviously a visual downgrade. We're talking about a game that looked outstanding on the Oculus Rift, now being ported over to mobile hardware. But, um, you know, even though there's a visual downgrade on the polygon count and on the textures and stuff, and stuff like that. Apparently, it still looks really, good. it still looks good for what you're getting out of the Oculus Quest, as long as you're setting your expectations straight. Um, and I'm really looking forward to it. The game feels the way that it felt on the Oculus Rift. It is going to be an outstanding game to show to your friends, even if the visual downgrade is there. Uh, to play this game without any wires and stuff, you'll be able to spin around and, and, and go anywhere, and and sh and you know take out these robots. It's going to be a hell of a lot of fun, even for somebody like me who's played this game on Robo, uh, you know, on the Oculus Rift. Game I'm really, really looking forward to. At number four here, we have Sports Scramble. This is being developed by Oculus Studios, um, and it's brand new for the Oculus uh, Quest when that releases, and also going to be coming to the Oculus Rift. It's going to start off with tennis when it first comes out, and then they're going to be adding bowling and baseball uh, in the month or in the summertime, I think is what their announcement is. And the reason I'm looking forward so much to this game, I, basically this is like Wii Tennis for, or for VR, which is already great to get people into the game. But I actually saw video previews of people playing this at PAX. And it's a lot more involved than just regular tennis. It, it, it makes it seem like it's the Mario Party of tennis. Because uh, as this guy was playing, you know, his racket would change to, like, weird things. Like, uh, I can't think off the top of my head. Was, like, one of them was a baseball bat in the middle of the game, too. So, like, you'll, you'll swipe at a tennis ball and it will hit, like, random things that popped up in the course. And if you hit that box, a random item unlocks. And it could change the ball to, like, a golf ball instead of a tennis ball. Um, all these there are beach ball and stuff like that. So now everything's reacting differently and it changes the, um, the, um, the rackets and stuff. It even changes the tennis, the, the actual, uh, I saw one of them change the, uh, actual court where it made the net higher. So now you had to hit these balls higher than you were before and it's going to have online multiplayer. So I'm really, really looking forward to playing this tennis game as soon as it comes out. It seemed like a really fun game to get into as soon as you get this thing and, uh, really looking forward to it. Number five is Journey of the Gods. Now, Journey of the Gods is another one that's going to that is uh, exclusively coming out at the same time. It's also going to be on the Rift as well, but it's going to be a new game, and, and you could basically be thinking about it as like a Zelda game ish for VR. Um, a, a game that looks outstanding with the with the look and presentation that it has going for it. The sense of scale from what everyone is saying when you're fighting these boss. Uh, the uh, boss monsters and stuff, as you can see, so a little bit of it in this video, uh, where he comes off the ground, and you really feel like you're trying to fight him, and you have a sh uh, sword and a shield. You're going around leveling up, uh, you know, getting better equipment, getting your stats up, all that stuff, and, and proceeding through the story, proceeding through this RPG world. And I'm really looking forward to diving in and, and exploring this world and beating all these monsters and playing with your friends and stuff is going to be a hell of a lot of fun in this game. And uh, I love the look of this game and, and, and what they're doing with it. So it's another one that I'm just really, really excited for. The next game on this list is actually another sequel to a... Well, this is actually a sequel to a game that Oculus Studios made on the original Rift. And of course, we're talking about Dead and Buried 2. The original Dead and Buried... Uh, I love Dead and Buried, the original one. That's also going to be coming as well to the Oculus Quest. Uh, it's just going to be ported over as well. I don't know if it's going to be day and date when the Oculus Quest releases, but they did say that that was coming, so I'm really looking forward to that as well. And uh, Dead and Buried 2, from what they showed so far, that brings it to the next level because you're actually able to freely move around either by teleporting or by freely you know, moving around like normal around levels, and obviously you're playing Team Deathmatch and Deathmatch. Uh, which is basically what people were wanting and missing out of the original one that you can fully play team deathmatch and stuff And it looks great on the oculus uh, quest from the video that they show there's this, there, this is the actual video uh, Of people playing it on the quest and stuff like that and what the graphics actually look like and even better is that it's going to be fully um, Cross compatible with the oculus rift player so you'll be able to you know do cross platform play between both people uh, people on the oculus uh, Quest and on the oculus rift as well it's going to be a hell of a lot of fun playing that online multiplayer game. Um, so I'm looking forward to playing that and also diving back into Dead and Buried, the original, because there's a hell of a, a lot of fun in both of those games. The next game on this list uh, was recently announced as well, and we're talking about uh, a game from Harmonix, people who made Rock Band and stuff, and who have made some games in VR, like the recently uh, early access game Autica. 
Um, and of course, we're talking about Dance Central. Now, I'm a really, really big fan of Dance Central as somebody who played it like crazy on the Kinect on the Xbox One. I'm really excited that this is going to get new life into VR because obviously, as people know, camera systems on the Xbox and the PS4 have obviously gone away. No one's really using those anymore for games. Uh, Just Dance is the only one that's really still coming out and using those things. And uh, even though I still have mine plugged up for the games you know, that have come out because some of them are really fun, Dance Central, of course, being one of them, uh, but now this gets to be breathe new life into it. And what I like about this game versus the games like Beat Saber and Autica that are out there already is this one's actually, first of all, it's dancing. It's, it's not waving your hands, obviously. You're fully dancing and it's tracking your movements and stuff. So obviously very big difference. But this is actually going to have a true soundtrack that we actually know. It's going to be like uh, R&B and pop and songs that are actually well known to everyone, um, which I'm excited to, you know, obviously get to play those. Um So yeah, really excited for Dan Central. If you're a fan of that series when it was out on the Xbox, look forward to this one coming out uh, on the release date. This is also going to be on the Rift as well. Um, So really exciting stuff here. The next one that we're talking about here is Star Wars Vader Immortal. Now we really don't know anything about this game. This small trailer is all we've basically gotten of this game so far. Uh, They did say it was going to be released in episodes. I believe it's three episodes. They're going to release episode one as soon as the Rift releases. Or sorry, as soon as the Quest releases. We have no idea how long it is or anything like that. Or obviously because no one's actually played this thing. But this Saturday, they're actually going to uh, be releasing a a small uh, snippet or some more information about it from what we heard at the Star Wars Celebration weekend. So hopefully we get some information on that. Uh, a little bit of it at least um, you know maybe a new trailer or something to see what the gameplay is going to be like but I'm really looking forward to anything Star Wars of course and I'm hoping that this one you know isn't just a five minute teaser experience of a movie I hope it's like fully interactive and we get like at least an hour of each episode I'd be perfectly satisfied satisfied if each episode was an hour an hour and a half and it was you know uh, comes out as episodic three episodes uh, I'm perfectly fine with that and they do a good job with it so looking forward to that and more information coming on that soon number nine here is Racket Fury Table Tennis as a big ta- uh, table tennis fan uh, in real life and I had so much fun playing this game on the Oculus Rift uh, this would excuse me this one has been out for a long time on the Oculus Rift and recently got updated with online multiplayer which makes it even better And I love that this is more of the arcade version. They have uh, Table Tennis 11, which is also going to be on the Oculus Quest as well. But I like this version because it feels more arcade. It's it's faster paced. It's obviously not meant to be like a true realistic representation of ping pong. Even though it plays just like ping pong would. But it's definitely more in the arcade style than regular ping pong is. Or the the 11 version that, that company makes for the Oculus Quest as well. So as a Table Tennis fan, I can't wait to dive into this and not have to worry about cables anywhere and just go crazy. And the last one we're going to end off on here, we can't go through this list without mentioning this one, and I already mentioned it before, and of course I'm talking about Beat Saber. The amount of times I've played Beat Saber on the Oculus, on the Oculus Rift already, basically every time I boot that thing up now, I just play a couple songs of uh, Beat Saber just to like get my uh, VR going, just kind of like how I do like a couple of rounds of Rocket League when I'm about to play a PC game. I, I basically do the same thing with Beat Saber on VR. And having this on the go and be basically almost the exact same thing Uh, Very small detail changes, but you you may not even notice as far as uh, the game goes, but everything as far as the gameplay is the exact same from everyone who's played it, and you're going to be able to bring this to friends' houses and do party mode and stuff like that and and to get the highest score, not have to worry about any wires, it's just going to be a hell of a crazy time to play this game all the time, and the fact that it's going to be on its own portable device uh, means I'm going to be playing it even more because I don't even have to turn my PC on anymore, so... Beat Saber is such a big phenomenon now in, in the VR culture, and uh, I can't wait to get my hands on this one for this as well. So that is my top 10 games that I'm looking forward to, guys, on the Oculus Quest. So many games are still to be announced. There's supposed to be at least 50 different titles coming out for the Oculus Quest, uh, as they have told us already, and we should be getting the exact full lineup once F8 comes around at the end of this month, April 30th, along with hopefully either it dropping that day, which is what most people are saying, or at least a release date of it releasing like a week or two later at the bare minimum. Um, so many good-looking titles to look forward to. This isn't even scratching the surface. There's so many other ones to look at, look forward to, things that are being ported over from the from the Oculus Rift into this one. But there's going to be so much to play. And, of course, a lot of these developers are letting you actually be able to do cross buy. So if you bought them on the Rift already... You're going to be able to just download these as soon as you get the Oculus Quest. You're going to have so much to play. And it may all, some of it may even be free because you may already own it. So that's going to be awesome as well. And uh, I'm looking forward to other apps as well, like the social applications that are coming to the Quest. Rec Room announced is a big deal. 
um, that's coming on there. All space is a big deal. That's coming on there. VR chat is a huge deal with that community that that got announced and is going to have cross-platform play as well with PC users and stuff. So that's going to be a hell of a lot of fun. Uh, and I'm hoping that they do Oculus Rooms as well. Oculus Rooms on the Oculus Go, I've done a video on that already on the channel if you guys want to check that out. It's a great social experience that I hope they're expanding on. And if it does get brought over to the to the Quest so you can actually use rooms uh, with people on the go and the Oculus Quest and have conversations and go in that room, decorate your room, play some board games together, show some videos. They just need to keep expanding and add some more go uh, board games around the table, uh, of course, which they have done a couple of times. But more importantly, let that TV be used for other things besides just Facebook videos. So you can get four friends in there. Keep expanding the... Uh, you can go in there basically and start up a game with everybody in the room and you go right into the matchmaking of that game and all play together. So expand on that, add more games to that and uh, bring the Oculus Go community and the Oculus Quest and all those communities together. Um, so I hope they have some sort of social application just like Oculus Rooms because I think that's great and it could be even better if they just keep going with it. Guys, that is my top 10 Oculus Quest games I'm looking forward to. Um, like I said, there's so many more things to be announced and so many things that are still popping up. So we're going to have a lot to talk about in the next month. Look forward to my unboxing video of the Oculus Quest. Of course, my full review on the Oculus Quest of course, my unboxing of the Oculus Rift S, which I will be getting as well, upgrading to that one and, uh, you know, doing a full review on that. So, so many things are going to be happening on this channel, VR related, in the next month, month and a half. And I'm so excited about so many reviews that are going to be coming out from the Oculus Quest. So, definitely hit that subscribe button if you guys are interested. And follow me on Instagram, guys. I'm using Instagram a lot more now to give you guys an in-depth look if you guys are interested at this game room. If you guys have seen my game room tour, I'm doing a lot of uh, interactive things with you guys, showing my collectibles more, uh, showing some pieces more. So definitely check out my Instagram. Of course, your gaming techie on Instagram and all my also all my other social medias. But guys, we won't make this video any longer. Thank you guys for watching. Till next time. Tech gaming techie is the gaming tech gaming techie gaming tech eating brekkie is the gaming tech going for a brekkie is the gaming tech gaming techie is the gaming tech gaming tech.